Oi, we're going this way. Come on. Monkey. <laughs> so we're at Indigo Blue today. As you can see, it's a fairly pleasant day. So while we're working, I just thought I'd bring Mr. Bentley out for a quick wee wee. Nipper's fast asleep, so I don't want to disturb him. So, right. Now we've had his way, we can go back. Come on, Bentley, let's go tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> Come on, he's a good lad. So it's Saturday morning, 9.40. I'm just nipping out to the supermarket um, to grab a few bits and pieces. Um, Ian's decided, or expressed a, a wish, <laughs> for a chili con carne for tea this evening. So I've got to go out and grab a few ingredients. And then tomorrow, um, I'm going to be cooking a variation on a dish we had down in London, the Mongolian beef from P.F. Chang's, which Ian absolutely adored. Um, we recreated the recipe um, with help from our friends on YouTube and did it with beef um, a few days ago, three or four days ago. Um, but it's one of those recipes once you master the, the the sticky sauce, if you like, um, you can apply it to whatever meats you want. And I think it would go really well with chicken. So that's what we're going to try tomorrow. So the ingredient list is really, really simple. It's just um, dark soy sauce, sugar, garlic, ginger, bit of black pepper, and a little bit of cornstarch just to thicken the sauce up a little bit but the sugar should do most of that um, and then you just simmer it in the pan until it starts thickening up and then you throw in your pre-cooked beef or, or chicken and then you add as the final bit um, chopped spring onions or for, you, for our American cousins scallions um, but it's a fairly easy recipe to do didn't really take that much preparation um, and I just garnished it um, with I just sprinkled some sesame seeds over the top when we, uh, we served it up we did ours with homemade egg fried rice but you could use noodles not a problem at all of any kind so anyway yeah so we're going to try it with chicken tomorrow and I have to say, I'm really looking forward to it. Sunday, 24th of March, Sunday day of rest for some, but not when you're a busy, self-employed entrepreneur, <laughs> hardly. Um, so I'm busy designing and testing new products for May. I know, April's are already done and on the website ready for pre-order, so I'm now working on new stuff for May. And here's a quick sneak peek.
it's Monday morning. Why does that car say 10.30? The clock's gone back, changed. And I didn't know about it. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's Monday. Um, and as you can see, it's a bit grey and miserable today. Rainy, showery. Anybody would think we're about April. So, typical weather for this time of year, really. Um, so I'm just going to nip over to see Mum and Dad and do a few errands on the way there. I've got to just stop off at the supermarket, just grab a few bits and pieces. Um, Ian's been down to see the doctors this morning he's been coughing over the weekend thinks he may have a chest infection so he's come back with a container for him to put a specimen in so they can send it away um, so yeah he did that first thing this morning like I said I'm on my way to see mum and dad um, Dad was very bright and bouncy this morning on the telephone. Didn't stumble over a single word this morning, which is really, really good news. But he did say that Mum was still in bed. Which, although given the time of the morning, that's not a very good thing, it actually is a good thing. Because it means that she's stayed upstairs all night. She hasn't come down in the middle of the night and then slept on the settee, on the couch. Which is what she does quite often. She's got into this really strange habit of getting up or waking up at like five in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. And instead of just staying in bed, she gets, gets up and she comes downstairs and then she falls asleep again on the, uh, on the couch. And then she complains she's had a bad night. I know, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, got a couple of errands, post office to do, got a couple of website orders to post. Um, and some groceries to get. Not an exciting list today, but it's more household stu stuff. Um, it's Dad's birthday on Wednesday, so I need wrapping paper. Um, I've already got his present. So, <laughs> busy morning, but I should be back by lunch. Pretty flowers this morning, eh? All those pretties. Yeah, when you're just sniffing the pavements. Come on then. Come. On. Mush mush. See, Bentley's not bothered about walking on wet grass. This one just doesn't want to do it at all. Do you? Yeah. It's got some sort of phobia about walking on wet grass. <laughs> so it's Tuesday afternoon. It's 20 past five. Ian has just called me. He's left work. He's been at work today. Um, and I've had both of the boys with me all day. Um, I filmed my Art Journal page project for tomorrow um, because I won't have time to do it tomorrow because mum and dad are here. Um, it's haircut day tomorrow, but it's also a dad's birthday tomorrow. I think I mentioned this before. So mum and dad are coming over and staying over for a couple of days. But my sister and her partner, Steve, um, are also coming over um, for a couple of days as well. So for the next few days or so, it's going to get pretty lively here. Um, like I said, so I've done that. It's all done, edited, 
uploaded, rendered, uploaded, and all scheduled, ready to go live tomorrow night. So like I said, Ian just called me. Um, he's probably about, mm, I'd probably say about 35 minutes away. So I've started doing um, our evening meal. Um, I'm doing a spaghetti bolognese tonight, and it's simmering nicely on the stove. As you can see, just reducing down ever so slightly, just over a low heat. And then the spaghetti all measured and waiting to go in the pan. Notice the new pans, matching new set, all very retro, light blue. They were a wedding present. <laughs> Wednesday morning, 27th of March. So I'm on my way to pick mum and dad up. It's dad's birthday today. He's 82 and he's going for haircut today. Now I was going to say a beard trim, but apparently he shaved it off. So it's all, apparently it's all clean shaven again now. Um, now I asked whether or not it was due to pressure from mum saying she didn't like it, but apparently, no, he just did it because he wanted to. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so once we've had haircuts, because I'm having my haircut as well today, um, I'll be taking mum grocery shopping, but also my sister and her partner, Steve, will be coming as well this morning because they're coming over for a few days too so i'm hoping to get in touch with my brother as well and see whether or not he can pop over later on this afternoon as well so we've got at least a little bit of a family gathering for dad's birthday and ian said he's going to pop out and get a birthday cake later um, from max and spencer's if you're interested <laughs> the upside down. <laughs> it's not for you Bentley Bobs. No, it's not your birthday. Sit down. Why is it a drink? No. It's a drink. Well, we're all having our lunch, and uh, Mike has got two helpers there. When I got in the bathroom, it's amazing. Happy birthday. Thank Mike, would you call that cupboard love? Total cupboard love. Absolutely. Oh. So, no candles because it's a fire hazard. Right, here's it 80 odd. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear dad! Happy birthday to you! We're giving him the bumps. <laughs> I doubt it. I'll get a rupture. In lots of oven. Come on then. Alright. Ready? Come on then, dad. In it Seven. goes. Chris? Oh. Ooh, look at that. Look at Bentley. Look at Bentley's nose. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'll cut it all yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> so it's Wednesday afternoon while everybody's sleeping off the birthday cake <laughs> and the celebrations in glasses of wine and that kind of stuff. 
Uh, I've come back out into the garage because I've still got work to do. Uh, I've got website orders that need to be cut, and done and packed. Um, I've got quite a few to get through before Monday, um, which is obviously 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Um, but it's also the launch day of all my April uh, stencils and laser cut wood stuff. So, uh, like I said, I've got quite a few um, website orders to get through, so I have to crack on. I can't sit around eating birthday cake as much as I want to. <laughs> this way, Bentley. Come on, then. She's got to get her steps in today. <laughs> So after that short interlude of having to walk the puppies, <laughs> I'm back cutting again and I will continue until A, I've got everything cut ready for the orders and B, it's time to eat. So I think that's it for this week. So don't forget, if you've enjoyed watching this vlog, please remember to give the video a thumbs up because it really, really does help. And don't forget, you can always share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for this week. I'll see you in the next. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget, you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.